Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with what? With the next biasing configuration. The first that we saw was what? Was the fixed bias configuration. Today that we see is the emitter bias configuration. The second is the emitter biasing or emitter biased configuration and what is this so this is basically the same thing as the previous with the only difference that we introduce a, 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 an emitter resistance not an emitter resistance a resistance in series with the emitter leg okay yes so what do we have is we had the VCC and it is split into RC or let me just show it as not split it or anyways let's say it's like this so you have the same uh, this is your collector terminal emitter terminal but emitter is not grounded solidly it is first through an emitter resistance so this is your IE this is RC having a current IC through it and over here at this side you have your base resistance RB and the current entering or the current through this is now IB the same IB plus IC is equal to IE so the only difference that we have is that we have introduced the emitter resistance RE yes then, then the, the other things would remain the same applying a KVL to the input loop KVL to the input loop states what VCC VCC minus IBRB minus VCE minus IERE is equal to zero have they written it like this IERE -E? yes now you can check from here that IE is equal to IC plus a IB yes IE is equal to uh, wait IC plus IB yes IE is equal to IC plus IB right yes and IC is equal to beta times IB so this is equal to beta times IB plus IB so you could say that IE is beta plus 1 times IB IE is beta plus 1 times IB isn't it like this it is so this implies what put the value here put the value here VCC minus IBRB minus VCE minus beta plus 1 times RE is equal to 0 what do we have have they simplified it uh, they have Mm. R E yes yes so what have they simplified over here uh, I B also I B times R E beta plus 1 I B R E right yes and this is what they have simplified I B R E is 0 what do you have V C C minus M. you can take VCC minus VCE then you have minus uh, you have taken minus common minus IB is taken common RB plus uh, beta plus 1 times RE this is equal to 0 so from here you can write the value of IB from here you can write the value of uh, IB so IB is VCC minus VCE VCE is what the collector to emitter voltage VCE emitter is at ground VCC is at a positive potential that is why we are taking it VCE similarly over here plus minus VBE 
right yes and this is divided by rb plus beta plus 1 times re and isn't it like this it is ic is beta times ib ic is beta times i b fine yes similarly kvl to the output loop kvl to the output loop would state what so let us do it again vcc minus icrc minus vce minus iere is equal to zero so from here you can have the value of vc e ie is approximately equal to ic right so ie is approximately equal to ic so i could write this as icre icre yes yes so i could write this as icre as well why because ic is approximately equal to ie so you can have from here the value of vce which is the output voltage so vce is equal to what vcc minus a ic times rc plus a re yes yes and similarly you can have the value of ic from here that ic would be what vcc minus vce divided by rc plus re yes yes so you can do the calculations by yourself let me check what do i have uh, say in the active region ic is equal to beta times ib ic is equal to beta times ib only in the active region i repeat in the previous video i have also told you this that ic is beta times ib only in the active region uh, okay we are not interested say we are interested in the stability factor stay we are interested in the stability factor so what do we have what do we have the stability factor s so s is equal to we know that s is equal to what that s is equal to 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta dib with respect to ic so dib dic we need to have vcc minus rb vcc minus a this equation this equation the input kvl equation derivate this with respect to ic differentiate this with respect to ic so what do you have is i would just write it directly over here you would have a zero minus dib dic rb plus re minus zero minus re equal to zero so which means that you have dib dic this is equal to minus re upon rb plus re you have this you put this over here you put this over here this would imply that the value of s comes out to be one plus beta do the simplification by yourself rb plus re i have taken the lcm and just do this so i may have skipped a step okay beta plus one re plus rb now have a look beta plus one times re would be far greater than rb beta plus one times re would be greater than rb so 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 this rb term could be neglected right and then this if this is neglected so beta plus one would cancel out with beta plus one this implies that you've got the value of sensitivity as rb plus re wait a minute just let me write it over here the value of the sensitivity factor s would come out to be what rb plus re divided by re so have a look this is a small value this is a much smaller value as compared to beta plus one in the previous 
fixed bias configuration so which means that introduction of the emitter resistance have got the system to be much stable although it won't be as stable as we want it to be we'll improve it stepwise but the thing is that it has been improved much more than the previous one beta plus one was quite a high value this one is way less as compared to that as in the previous video so let's say we have this i would write is quite less than beta plus one so this is about the sensitivity of this right yes let me uh, we have got an advantage but we also have a disadvantage when we talk of an ac equivalent short circuit the dc supply if the input voltage reduces negative feedback also in ac circuit common emitter with short circuit are e thus vbi so leave that so we have done this the 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 this is done let's say we talk we, we we move to examples directly come on we we are running out of time we are running out of time so what do you have is let's say i take an example from here that um, beta or e is far greater than r b anyways uh, let it be okay the example example is what r c r e r b example r c r e r b v c e and v b are unknown v c e v b are unknown what is the known term given is beta is 80 i c is 3 milliamperes beta is 80 I C is 3 milliamperes. We see 7.6 volts. V E is 2.4 volts. And V C C is 12 volts. So have a look. What can you do? What can you do over here? So let's say first of all i talk about the simplest one vb so vbe is equal to what vb minus a ve ve is given and vbe is 0 0.7 so you can find out vb vb would be what vbe is 0 0.7 plus 2.4 yes 3.1 volts 3.1 volts vb is done vce vce is what vc minus ve you have vc you have ve what is the value 5.2 volts 5.2 volts check the calculations rb rc and r R E so so you can just find out from the formulas. Hmm? Can you not? Can you not find it out? I B. Wait wait. K V L to the input loop. Wait just just a second. Have a look over here. You have R B. You have R E. So both are unknown. So beta plus one R B. Uh, wait a minute, I have a mistake somewhere. I have a mistake somewhere. I C is equal to beta times I B. And over here you can check. Consider this equation. I C is equal to beta times I B. So beta times uh, VCC minus VCE divided by RB plus beta plus 1 times uh, RE. Now what do I have? Beta plus 1 is approximately equal to beta. Yes? Yes. 
बीटा प्लस वन और अप्रॉक्सिमेटली बी इक्वल टू बीटा राइट इज एंड इट इट इज देन वट डू हैव दैट इफ दिस इज बीटा आर ई so beta r e would be far greater than the value of r b so we will neglect r b so what do i have is i have i c comes out to be beta v c c minus v c e divided by beta r e beta beta cancels out you have the value of i c so you can check for the value of i c over here as this i c would be equal to vcc minus vce upon re now have a look what do you have you have ic you have vcc you have vce so you can find out re and re would be what vcc is 12 minus vce is 5.2 divided by ic is 3 milliamperes re value is what Our E value is 0.8 kilo ohms. 0.8 kilo ohms. R E or R B? R E is 0.8 kilo ohms. Wait, I have a mistake somewhere. Or let's say we we just write it over here, 0.8 kilo ohms, and then we'll see what is happening. So you've got R E. Now for R B, what would be the case? How to calculate R B? So here, well, you can calculate it from here. But the beta value is given, so you can calculate it from here. You do it for yourself, okay? I'm just feeling quite a little tired. So R B, you calculate from this value, please. R B. And how would you do that? So you have I B, you have V C C, you have V C, you have beta, you have R E. So R B, you can calculate. Similarly for R C, you can use this equation. You have VC, you have VCC, you have IC, and you have you have everything. You have everything. Do it for yourself, please. So this was the this was one example. Let me just have a book example, and that would be it for today. That would be it for today. Or the book example you can do yourself. But anyways, just let me do it. Let me just write example 4.4. We'll just start it, and that. then we'll see what happens so i b i c v c e i b i c v c e v c v e v b and v b c these are all unknown and the values are given as v c c is given as 20 r b is 430 kilo ohms R C is two kilo ohms. Beta is fifty. R R E is one kilo ohms. R E is one kilo ohms. Beta is fifty. Okay, so let's get to the solution. The first thing is I B. So I B is what? I B is V C C minus V C E. No, not V C E. This is V B E. This is V B E. I have a mistake somewhere. I have a mistake somewhere. Have a look. This we see. This is the mistake. This is B. Do the corrections for yourself, please. Do the corrections for yourself. This is B. Okay. So I may have confused you in the previous example as well. But anyways, so I B you can calculate from here. I B would be what? It's V C C is uh, given is twenty minus V B is considered point seven. R B is Uh, R B is over here is 430 kilo ohms minus beta plus one is 51 times R E is R E is one kilo ohms. The value of I B comes out to be 40 microamperes, 40 point something whatever it is. Beta times I C, I C is beta times I B. I C comes out to be two milliamperes. Two milliamperes have a look ib is in microamperes ib in milliamperes vce vce would be from here just do it for yourself right vce would be 20 minus 2 so 
मिली इन टू आर सी प्लस आर ई टू प्लस वन थ्री किलो पी सी ई वुड बी वट थर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन वोल्ट थर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन नेक्स्ट इज वॉट वी सी एंड वी ई सो ना दिस कट बी अ लिटिल ट्रिकी नो ट्रिक सो वी सी इज इक्वल टू वट वी सी ई इज वी सी माइनस अ वी ई बट यू डोंट हैव वी ई बट यू हैव आई ई यू हैव आर ई सो यू कैन से वी सी ई इज वी सी माइनस अ आई ई आर ई एंड अगेन आई ई इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू आई सी पट द वैल्यूज एम टायर्ड I'm tired. V C comes out to be what? Comes out to be two volts, two volts, two point zero one or whatever it is. Similarly, V E you can find out from V C E from this. V E would be what? It would be V V C minus V C E. You can just do it directly. Yes, sir. You can, right? Yes. And finally, what do you have? V B and V B C. So V B and V B C. So for V B what do you have? For V B V B E is equal to V B minus V E. You have V E. You have V B E. You can find out V B. Similarly, V B C would be V B minus V C. You have got V B. You already have calculated V C. You've got V E. That is it. I don't want to do another example. we have the saturation level again so the saturation level would be again for the maximum current for the that so ic saturation let me write down the formula over here that ic saturation would be what ic saturation would be vcc upon rc plus re rc plus re right so i told you when the vc is equal to 0 this is the maximum Collector current that is the saturation current, right? And you have you can put out the values over here. Similarly, you have for the load line analysis a question on the load line analysis. So do it for yourself. Example four point seven. Let it be your homework. Example four point seven is your homework. Please do it for yourself. I would have done it, but I am feeling very much tired. I can't do it. Okay, I can't do it. Again, you would have over here is what. capacitors bypass capacitors for the input and output and similarly you would have a capacitor over here in the emitter leg as well you would also have a capacitor in the emitter leg and what will that do so in the emitter leg you would have the input would be equal uh, to the applied signal and then you the gain will not reduce so this one this one would be for the gain for the gain we'll see it in the ac analysis we we'll see it in the ac analysis if you put on this resistor the gain will not reduce if you don't have this capacitor capacitor okay not resistor so the applied input signal this would be b e would be less than the applied input signal and the gain would reduce the gain would reduce and that is a little drawback but and that is called the negative feedback so we'll see that when we are studying the ac analysis okay So do you want me to make a video on the load line analysis example or not so anyways i have given it a homework we'll see if i wanted to make a video i'll make it or i'm just getting a little bored getting a little tired see you in the next lecture very soon till then take care goodbye